It was the minor strike, I think, which galvanised us all again. It was like an injection of politics, which had sort of e e evaporated in the 70s. It came back, so I suppose we can say that we have to thank, in quotes, Thatcher for that. Because I was a solo performer, I was one of the few artists from the scene who could actually go outside of London, actually go up to the north, up into the coal fields in Northumbria and do gigs. And I started finding myself sharing bills with people like uh, Roy Bailey and Leon Russellson. And they were singing stuff like The World Turn Upside Down. And I suddenly found a whole political vein of folk music that I hadn't really explored before. Delaville is a terrible place They rub wet clay in the black leg space Around the heath they run the foot race To catch the black leg miner And in the gang near the sack hill mine Across the way they stretch the line To catch the throat and break the spine Of the dirty black leg miner Ten years before that, if you'd sat down and sung a song like the black leg miners it was fine, you get people singing along without thinking what they were singing. Suddenly in 1984, you stood up and sang exactly the same song. You were making a, a solid declaration of support for the NUM. And Segel is a terrible place, the rub wet clay and a black leg's face, and around the heap the runner for twist to catch the black leg minor. People were coming and they were discovering that folk, the idiom of folk song was, was a vehicle for writing about things and they could use it themselves, and I think this influenced popular music.